Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. Please subscribe if you like my channel. So to get your drawings accurate for painting, first of all, grid your reference photo, just like I'm doing here. I'd just like to say at this point that I'm very grateful to Fluke's owners for allowing me to use their Border Collie as my muse. The more grid squares that you have, the more accurate you will be able to be with your drawing. So because this is not a particularly complicated image, I have just used five grid squares. Getting your drawing correct is probably the most important thing that you can do for realistic painting. Because if your drawing is off, it doesn't matter how well you paint it, it will just look wrong. So this is a way of making sure that you get your drawing as accurate as you possibly can. Once you have gridded up your reference photo, take your paper or your canvas and grid that up as well. You can scale this up as well. So for example, here, my grid square was a total of 20 by 20 centimeters but I could use a surface for painting that was twice as big, for example, 40 by 40 centimetres, or I could go even bigger, 80 by 80 centimetres. But for the purposes of this video, I am doing the same size for my reference photo as I am going to do for my painting, so you can see it very clearly what I'm doing. Once you begin to draw onto your grid, you need to forget the subject matter that you are looking at. Forget about the fact that it's a dog. You need to view this as a collection of shapes and look at where the shapes intersect the grid lines. You can then use these obvious crossover points as your anchor points and join up along the way as you go. I am using pencil and I'm pressing quite hard as I want you to see what I'm doing. But if you were going to paint on this surface, I would press much, much lighter. And also as well, if I was painting larger, I would sketch straight away with paint rather than pencil. But just experiment and do what works for you best. Once you've sketched it out, take a piece of cellophane and a permanent marker pen and redraw your image onto it. I will show you how this is really helpful in the painting process. So it is very easy to lose the accuracy of your drawing the further into your painting that you go. At various points, take your cellophane and lay it across your work as you go along. You'll be able to correct any inaccuracies this way and ensure your drawing stays as accurate as possible to help you produce something as realistic as you can. As you can see, this is a really helpful tool to use to make sure that you don't stray too far away from that original sketch. And here is the final painting. This is the final thing. You can find other videos about my process on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe if you can. Also check out my website, sarahhallidayart.com, where you'll find details of online courses and one-to-one -one lessons that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.